Hey guys, it's Destiny with Women in Real Estate and I'm here today with Hazel Rossetti of Big Block Realty. We're actually here in Fashion Valley and this is True Foods, a favorite of yours, am yes, I correct? it is. All right, cool. And so we're just gonna review a little bit of your history and how you started in this industry. You are a realtor, correct? Correct. Alrighty, so how did you get started at Big Block and as a real estate agent? So how I got started, um, I, uh, was originally working as a full-time software in software. Okay. And I got my license in 2006. Cool. Um, I was still full-time in software. And in 2009, um, my brother actually said, he knew I was licensed and he said, hey, I'm ready to buy a house now. And um, I said, okay, let's go. Yeah. And so um, so at the time I was still working as a, um, you know, full-time in software. Yeah. Um, and we looked at houses during the weekends, and I would actually fax at the time, you know, faxing was big. Uh -huh. And I would fax over the offers um, and follow up on the offers during my lunch break. So and this then, was like your first foray yeah, in real estate. My, okay, for real, cool. Like transaction. Okay. And so, you know, as I was, you know, doing the, the job as a realtor, but still part time, mm -hmm. I really loved it. Yeah. <clears throat> and I decided to take the leap. Um, asked my husband, hey, I really love, you know, real estate. I wanted to take the leap and so... And completely transition <clears throat> over. And completely transition. That's a little scary. Yeah, it was very scary, but I had faith and, um, you know, in myself and my, I had full support from my family and my... That's awesome. Yeah, so it's it always was, really important to yeah. have that support. Yeah, so it was really good and my brother was my first client. <laughs> awesome. That's super cool. So did he end up getting the home of his dreams? Yeah, or? and he actually still lives in that home. Oh, cool. Yeah, he ended up buying it as a short sale uh -huh. and um, they have a lot of equity and I'm like, what are you going to sell? Nice. <laughs> and uh, and uh, they still love the home. Okay, great. Yeah. That's awesome. So typically as a real estate agent, what does your day-to-day -day look like? So um, I've actually made it a point now to wake up early. Um, I'm a, I, I get really good sleep now, thankfully. Good. And, <laughs> and uh, I invested in this um, what they call a juve light. Okay. So it's an infrared light. I know people think I'm weird, but it's. <laughs> no, I'm actually really curious about this. So this yeah. helps your or helps improve your quality. Of yeah. Sleep? So okay. basically, infrared light kind of mimics the sun. But it also helps you sleep too. Wow. So um, that's actually really cool. Yeah. So it, and so what I do is I um, I invested in this infrared light, and I drink my coffee in front of the light, and I kind of you know I try to prevent like going on my phone. Yeah. But it, that's kind of my way of meditating, and I've actually been very addicted to doing that. So I do it for like 12 minutes. Okay. Because you don't want to do it too um, too much. Yeah. And it, it helps with anti-aging. It helps with a lot of things. Um, that was one of the reasons why I bought it at first. But um, cool. but now it actually helps me just get re-energized and just kind of like start my day well. That's awesome, which yeah. is something that you probably need. It can be kind of hectic in real estate. Yes. So yes. then after getting all that rejuvenation, <laughs> what else do you happen to do like that kind of helps facilitate your day? So after that, um, I get ready and I actually go to the gym. Um, people that know me know that I love fitness, awesome. um, just like you. Yes. And um, <laughs> so I get my energy from that, and um, and then from there, that kind of sets my day. Like if I really don't work out, then I, I kind of get grumpy. Yeah. But um, but it kind of helps to do it early because then I can tackle the day and then you know help my my clients. Cool. Yeah. So then yeah. during the week, do you usually have a lot of showings or is that more so the weekends? Like how does that usually lay out? My showings are, um, I do showings either on weekdays okay. or weekends. Okay, so whatever uh, works for your clients pretty yes. much. Okay. Yeah, I work around my client's schedule just like you know a lot of us do and, um, and I, I lay out my day. Cool. around that okay yeah and so have you faced any challenges working within this industry like anything that sticks out in particular um, when I first started in real estate I um, the challenging part was I started in a time where the, the market crashed actually. oh wow okay so, so that was 2006 yeah. so a couple of years so 2009 that's when the market was crashing and there was a ton of short sales yeah. okay. and so that was a challenging time for me because Number one, I was entering the market, but number two, there was a lot of short sales and, you know, 
we weren't getting paid or anything yeah. for a long time, but it, it actually helped me because <clears throat> it helped me become stronger. Which is good. And know how to do short sales. I, I did a lot of my short sale negotiations and it, it allowed me to be able to talk to clients with um, with confidence on how to help them with their short sales. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. So like when you first got your license, I know that licensing now is a little bit different, yeah. but like the exam, like was it, did it help prepare you for all of those challenges or um, was it just you just had to kind of learn and pick it up as you went? Yeah. Okay. I, the exam itself actually is very like school-like yeah. and it doesn't really teach you the real world. Yeah, definitely. So, um, did you have a mentor that kind of guided you through or was this all like self-learn? It was also, it was all self-learn. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, um, and it was all, a lot of it was motivation. Like I was motivated to get into it. Okay. So, um, and I just kind of went into it. Okay. And I had a lot of mentors along the way and I think getting into a good brokerage that offers a lot of training also helps as well. That's super so, important. Super yeah. important. Yeah. Okay. And so, I mean, as far as, um, your motivations are now like where do you see yourself in the next couple of years what are your ambitions so I actually um, I actually see myself growing um, definitely growing my team mm -hmm. and growing as a person and just building my skills um, you know I love I love residential real estate yeah. um, I definitely would like to go into different types of real estate now and learn that aspect okay. for example maybe commercial um, and you know, uh, and all that. Yeah, that's yeah. a great goal. Yeah. I yeah. know it's a little bit different than even what I'm used to at all. So I know commercial can be a little bit, uh, it's a different animal. Yeah. It's yeah. a little bit colder cause it's not as hands on with like yes. families and whatnot, but okay. Very cool. Yeah. And so then additionally for those women who are looking to enter real estate, what advice could you possibly give them? So what I liked about real estate when I entered, um, the, the, the real estate industry, I like the fact that you actually have the control mm -hmm. when you get to pick your broker. Okay. So you are actually interviewing them versus them interviewing you. Of course. And you're asking them questions about, you know, what you want. So I, the advice I give to like a new agent is basically just go out there and interview the different brokers yeah. and then see what's right for you like the right fit the right fit yeah. and what makes you feel good and and um you know help you on a, a great start all right that's awesome yeah. advice yeah. Alrighty, so we are actually going to take a quick break and then head into our lightning round we're going to relocate and get back to chatting with hazel thank you guys so much for watching